All right, we're out here today. Uh, we're about two weeks into the Georgia bow season now, and our bucks are starting to break up that we had over the summer. Starting to gain a few new bucks, starting to lose some old bucks, and I'm looking for ways to try to inventory, get pictures of what's coming through here. Um, a little bit further away from where we've been hunting, so one of the ways I like to do that without having to use baits or attractants or anything like that is a mock scrape. Um, there's a lot of different ways out there that you can do it. I like using a grapevine. Uh, it's got to be fresh. You can see there's water literally running out of the end of this thing. Um, and what I've, what I've got here is I've got a trail that comes out of here. I mean, this whole hillside is torn up with rubs. And I've got a limb here that's too high for a deer to scrape under, but it's right on the trail. So I know it's going to be right in his face when he comes by. So I'm going to take this grapevine and I'm going to hang it from this limb using a piece of wire and it's going to put it at the right height. We've got us a rake here. We're going to uh, open up the ground up underneath it for a good visual appeal. And I, I promise you these bucks will take to this. Uh, you don't have to use any scents or anything. Just, just a good grapevine. Put it somewhere where the deer are going to walk and they're going to find it and take to it and start using it. So you get this thing hung up. So, like I said, I've just got some wire. I'm gonna tie this thing up real good with that wire. I can't pull it off of there. And we're just gonna come up here on our tree branch. weight so so the weight has made this thing sag down so I'm just gonna take my clippers I'm gonna take a little bit of weight off the top get this thing back up a little bit and then finish wiring it in place there we go just taking a little bit of weight off brought it up to a better height there chunk that off there this out of the way there and finish wiring this thing up you really want to get that thing up there good. Because those bucks, they'll get pretty dang aggressive with it. And they might, you know, if you're not careful, they might pull it off of there. So make sure you wire it up good. sitting there dangling right in their face right at their height as they come up this trail so I'm just gonna take my rake now you can get close to the ground right now. I'm just gonna come right here and dig out all this brush
That's it.